Good afternoon. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 429 in the afternoon on Tuesday, July 16, 2024, 429 p.m. in the afternoon on Tuesday, July 16, 2024. And let's take a look at the uh, what happened in Japan first before we get to the uh, very urgent forecast for California. We had forecasted a 4.5 earthquake to hit in the Chiba, Tokyo area. If you go over to our x.com Twitter page, um, it's, I believe it's called Earthquake Japan. And uh, you can see, or you can go to quakeprediction.com and click on the Japan page, scroll down and click on the Twitter page from there. But we had forecasted a 4.5 to hit in the T Tokyo, Chiba area. Well, this is what happened. 4.4 in the Tokyo and 4.7 just off of Chiba, exactly as we forecasted. 3.2 just uh, recently hit in the area uh, east of Santa Cruz and south uh, west of San or southeast of San Francisco, and those are some foreshocks. You can see that quake hit right in this area, this 90% risk area. 93% risk right now in the, in the San Francisco Bay, 92 there, and very high risk northwest of LA right now with the 16th and the 17th. But here is the uh, dangerous situation for tomorrow, uh, which is Wednesday, July 17th through July 18th. Very strong uh, high risk across uh, San Francisco and uh also high risk uh, near Coalinga Parkfield, Santa Maria, and uh, San Simeon, that area. But uh, look at these two areas, right near San Francisco Bay, and over here in Southern Nevada and Ridgecrest, uh, Mammoth Lakes, down to Barstow and Ludlow, uh, east of Bakersfield, the Mojave area. This area near Ridgecrest uh, could get a, a 6.0 earthquake on the 17th and a 6.1 earthquake on the 18th is possible. You can look at our graph over, um, where is our graph? Right here. You can see there's a strong peak here on uh, the afternoon and evening of the 17th. Another strong peak on the afternoon and evening of the 18th. So again, looking for a strong earthquake in either the San Francisco Bay or near Ridgecrest um, in the next 36 hours to 36 to 48 hours most likely in the afternoon of the 17th and afternoon of the 18th. Now look at the map for the 18th to the 19th. Very high risk here near Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest Mammoth Lakes, uh, northeast of LA. A serious situation there, also very high risk in northeast California, northwest Nevada, and up near South Lake Tahoe as well. This extends down to Mammoth Lakes, Ridgecrest. So if you live in any of these uh, hot spots here, be on the alert. Uh, in uh, San Francisco Bay as well for the 17th into the 18th, looking for two strong earthquakes, one on the afternoon of the 17th and one on the afternoon of the 18th. And right now, the highest risk, uh, according to some other forecast models we have here, is pointing toward the Ridgecrest area is where the 6.0, 6.1 earthquake are most likely to hit. So if you're living in any of these areas, uh, San Francisco Bay or over to Ridgecrest, be on alert for a strong earthquake during the next 36 to 48 hours. Again, here's a, a graph of the risk. These uh, This forecast model is working extremely well in Japan. We had forecasted a, a 5.0 in Northern Japan just a, a week or so ago and that hit, 5.0 hit up in that area. And then we forecasted a, a strong earthquake in the Western portion uh, of Japan, West of Tokyo and that hit 4.9. And the one we just show you, showed you here, the 4.4 uh, and 4.7 that hit in the Tokyo Chiba area. So it's working really well in Japan. Here's a spike in risk on the 6th that produced a 3.8. Uh, spike in risk on the 8th produced a 3.3 and 3.4. This uh, one here on the late on the 10th produced a 3.1. And then northwest of California, 6.4 hit exactly on this uh, peak in risk right there on the 11th of July. And this peak here on the 13th produced 3.9 northwest of California off the coast of Oregon. This is the spike in risk coming now this evening. So this should produce uh, a 4.1 earthquake in any of those hot spots you saw um, right here. 
either in the San Francisco Bay or northwest of LA um, should produce uh, a, about a 4.1 earthquake, could be stronger, but uh, really uh, concerned about the earthquake coming on the 17th and one on the 18th to either, like I said, Ridgecrest or the San Francisco Bay. Be aware of that. Please tell your friends and family to be ready for that um, tomorrow or the 18th, Wednesday or Thursday. All right, in Japan, the forecast is working extremely well. 85% uh, risk here on the 17th and the 18th down near Kochi, Japan. And then 85% risk near Ibaraki on the 18th to the 19th. And 93%, this one here on the 19th and the 20th of July, could produce a 4.2 to 4.3, possibly larger in the uh, Ibaraki, Fukushima area. And then on the 20th to the 21st, uh, southwest of Tokyo, this area here uh, could produce a 4.0 to 4.5. Uh, I believe that's uh, Shizuoka area of Japan on the 20th to 21st. Once again, looking for a strong earthquake in California the next 36 to 48 hours, most likely in the Ridgecrest to Mammoth Lakes area or over near San Francisco Bay. Please uh, warn your friends and family. Thanks for your support here. Now 20 years of research at quakeprediction.com and uh, over 274,000 followers around the world. That keeps going up every day because our, our accuracy is extremely, is it working extremely well on these forecast models. Uh, please warn your friends and family in California, and we will talk to you uh, after the quakes hit. Thank you so much again. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist, the Earthquake.